Hi everyone, this is another toy haul video of mine and what you are seeing in front of you is the Transformer uh, Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Primes. I mean, for those uh, Dark of the Moon fans who just can't wait to see the movie and trying to get a, a good deal on, on the figures. Um, if you have been trying to get uh, a Leader Class, um, well, a Dark of the Moon Leader Class figure, now is your time. You should go out and get it because uh target is having a sale on most of their dark of the moon's figures and they are reducing the price of this one to 39.99 and if you want to save even more money just go to target.com and print out a coupon to get a ten dollars off on uh their dark of the moon leader figures so actually i got this one at target for about about thirty dollars 29.99 is I have to say is an amazing deal for um, for a leader class figure. So, but uh, if we, I mean, if you want to wait for this one to go on clearance, which I am really doubting, uh, because people seem to buy, uh, people seem to to be buying Sentinel Prime because he's the new character in Dark of the Moon, and actually he looks very cool, beside from Bumblebee. So yeah, so that is Dark of the Moon, Leader Class, Central Prime, and also at the same target, I uh, I got a very own figure. Uh, this one is from, uh, um, I believe, 2010, or 2010s. Yeah, I I think, and this is the um, Tron Legacy Korra figure. The uh, Three inch, three quarter scale. Let me, let me fix my light a little bit. Yeah, really cool to find this one. Yeah, you know, Target is is really good now. There, I mean, um, I got this one for about five five ninety nine six dollars. So really good deal. I mean, they are having these Tron Legacy figures on clearance. You know, I don't know why they are having these figure now. I mean. Um, I mean, before I didn't see any of these figures. I saw uh, most of them with the Black Gauze, Rinsler, and Clue Sentry. But now they're having Sam's and Kevin and Clue and now Cora. Just, you know, just happened to check my target one day and found her pretty cool. And you can, you see, she has a lined up chest. And this is the back. Um, yeah. So that's Korra, and this one is a newer figure, uh, and it is the Marvel Universe Apocalypse. Very nice. Uh, so these newer uh, wave of Series Three is starting to hit Target and uh, on or general retail. Uh, I saw the first appearance Wolverine as well as the Gladiator, uh, but so far I haven't seen any other. And yeah, I was very lucky to find this one. I didn't see Cyclops or Cable though. I guess they are a lot harder to find than I thought. So there's Apocalypse, and um, the next few figures are just for WWD, WWE fans. I, I mean, I I am sorry I haven't been collecting WWE figures and reviewing them lately, but. Uh, yeah, starting from now, I think I'm going to uh, uh, buy more and review more. So let's start with uh, uh, one of the uh, one of my favorite figure, or not really my favorite, but my favorite character, and hint hint, big John Cena fans. <laughs> um, yet I was able to find another basic John Cena figure with the one. Uh, 1000 edition uh, exclusive chair this is the TLC chair and um, yep this one is the second uh, John Cena headscarf that uh, we're getting from Mattel I'm sorry it's a little bit dusty <laughs> but uh, this one is about $10 at my local tar uh, Target and another one I have found at Target but uh, this is a well, this is uh, at the same target, but uh, this one is amazing deal and amazing figure. For uh, this one, I have been looking for months, but then 
certainly he was just there i mean on clearing for seven dollars and 44 cents and you are not going to believe this okay let me push this figure back and it is the wwe legend the rock figure uh, yeah i guess luck is a funny thing isn't it you know i've been looking for forever at toys world walmart and target before but this guy is, is well he is very elusive and now he's just here on clearing you can see the clearance a sticker right there for 744 so definitely expect a review on this guy i'm gonna open him can't wait and the last one is a newer wwe figure and it is the elite collection series a sheamus wow look at this guy he comes with the wwe championship belt and his necklace and a steel pipe look at that very nice huh so um i'm gonna be doing comment on this one when i do a review of him but right now let's just leave him the way it is yeah, here's a look at the back right there this one was about 15 dollars at my local walmart uh actually 14.84 so uh yeah, Series A is starting to hit uh, retail as well. You know, uh, keep out, um, keep an eye out for Seamus. I think he's the, um, I think he's the chase figure of this wave. And uh, also, uh, look for Drew McIntyre, uh, Evan Bourne, William Regal, Undertaker, and Edge. I was thinking about getting Edge because I think this is going to be the last Edge figure that we're gonna get but the line on that figure was I mean I mean the line sucks it, I mean it looks nothing like Edge but uh, if I happen to get Edge you know you're gonna see what I'm talking about but uh, just for today you know here are my uh, recent figure haul let me uh, okay I don't think I can see So here's my uh, recent figure haul. Be um, just be on the uh, lookout for a review on this one. This one, um, uh, Cora. Well, definitely I'm gonna open this one. But Cora, I think I'm gonna keep in packaging. And the leader class Sentinel Prime, I think I'm gonna leave him like that for now because I am still in love with the uh, Cyberverse version of of, of uh, Sentinel. I mean, it, I mean, this one is very, uh, very cheap, very portable, and he doesn't take up a lot of space in your collection. So I am still uh, playing around with this guy. I, I am loving the Cyberverse more and more. So for now, that one is staying in the box. So anyway, uh, expect, uh, stay tuned for a review on Shameless, The Rock, and Apocalypse. And this is my recent haul. I hope you all enjoy uh, watching that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.